Guys, uh, today we are here at Middlemore HQ, um, which is the police headquarters here. Um, it does say access by invitation only for this bit, um, so I won't go on there. But so yeah, but this is the uh, police headquarters, which is. Uh, Quite an interesting building, really. Uh, no deliveries, so you have to go rear entrance on Honiton Road for deliveries. Uh, quite a few vehicles coming out, though. We're, um, it's like quarter past four, maybe, not even that. There's quite a few uh, vehicles coming out. But uh, exit of the police station is this way. So yeah, you're not allowed to go into the headquarters unless invited. It's clear signage saying that. Access by invitation only. Again, uh, I did see a police station visit on YouTube already for here. Uh, so I already knew the police headquarters was by invitation only. Um, but last time, the last uh, people that came here, I think it might have been Live Free again, the one that I saw, came down, followed this footpath around, and there was no clear signage on uh, what could or couldn't be accessed. Um, so they said they were looking at getting signage for that so we'll go have a look and see if they have So I think that's the new police station there. So we've got Exeter Police Station main entrance. Obviously that's for vehicles and stuff. Um, End of cycle route. But yeah, this uh, appears to be the police station here. So we'll go have a look around. Some vehicles here with uh, dirty number plates illegal number plates so that should be sp57 space 0ke um, not sure if this is staff parking or whether this is for uh, visitors they've got a uh, custody reception obviously we're not going to visiting there We've still got the broken windows that were pointed out last time. Smashed windows there. Um, but so I think that was about seven months ago. Was that that video was? Um, that I saw that. So that window's been smashed for about yeah, quite a long time really. So this one I found quite interesting, got a blue box here, so it's a police telephone, so it's a multi-use one, it doesn't go straight through to 101, 
but you can do either from it. And it's got options if you're deaf or hard of hearing or speech impaired. And they've got their uh, domestic abuse signage up. It's quite interesting. So there is one chappy in there. So they have a disabled uh, access toilet there. Their fire emergency evacuation plan on display, which is good. Um, obviously, it's a new area, new building. But, um, got a press for attention button if you need help at the counters. Uh, that's okay, don't need that. See, that's an issue. You can see that computer through there. Uh, which you can get personal details from, which isn't good. Oh yeah, we're talking about this one. Hi, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just noticed uh, as I came in, like from here and from the windows there, those computers that you've got back there, obviously you're recording a lot of personal information on them. They're all visible to the public. Right. Um, so it's quite an issue, you'll see. It's, uh, is it just, is it, is yeah, that one there. And obviously, okay. yeah, and from the windows there, obviously those windows should have like, um, so like Evelyn bathroom window, something that could obscure the vision from what you can see on the screens. Mm -hmm. outside it's something yes thank you so much for no that's all right I just, yeah i just noticed that, i mean as i was walking around outside yeah. i could see in you know i could i couldn't see i can't see exactly what's on there but if somebody had like a good enough zoom or whatever or somebody wants yeah. to stand right by the window they can write down anything disseminate information thank you so but no i just wanted to let it make it make you aware of it um yes. so obviously is a is an issue yes, yes. Well, thank all right you. no thank worries you. at all have thank a great day you. Yeah, so uh, yeah, just let them know about that issue there. Um, so yeah, as I said, from the window you can obviously see those screens, which isn't good. Should might be right when it gets dark, maybe you can't see anymore. See, oh, there you go, it's got blinds, just put the blinds down now, which is good. That's what you should be doing. Um, that's exactly what should be done. Um, but yeah, so that's the new police station here in Exeter. So I think this was built about three, maybe four years ago now. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame about that window. I mean, like I said, the last video I saw was about seven months ago. Um, and that window was smashed then, so realistically it should have been fixed by now. But... Uh, another filthy number plate there, barely readable. Uh, yeah, it's not good really. Um, I understand down in Devon, there's a lot of people driving around the countryside and stuff, but it's uh, your responsibility to make sure your number plate's clean and visible. It is against the law. And uh, I said, if ever's got this BMW, has a legal number plate, which is quite poor. So, it's a bit worrying. There's, there's loads of number plates around here that are filthy, that should really get pulled over. Like that Audi there, wouldn't be able to read that. The Renault Clio in the corner, wouldn't be able to read that. But, you know, that's... Uh, I really hope these aren't police vehicles because if they are, that's really, really poor. Um, uh, 
really not good at all. So, so we've got some gentlemen over there. I don't know if they're police officers or not, but they've obviously seen me standing around recording, talking to the camera. Haven't had any issues, haven't said anything yet. So, fingers crossed, we won't have any issues. But, a uh, lady at the front desk was very polite, appreciated me letting her know. Hopefully they come and do something, they do something about those windows. Somebody wants to do a revisit and check. But given that that window's been broken for long enough, I highly doubt that will happen. But if it doesn't, what we can do is always, uh, you know, GDPR breaches can be reported to the IOC. Um, ICO, sorry, Information Commissioner's Office. Um, so, that's always an option. But... So I actually went past the uh, old police station on the way here and you can tell they, they definitely needed a new one. The other one's such a dilapidated building. Uh, it was definitely in need of this. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. They've obviously got custody suites here as well and the inquiry office. Um, but... Trying to figure out what that building is down there, but I think that's another fire station. Might have a wander down and have a look. Uh, yeah, I think this might be uh, visitors parking. Don't know if this is police parking or not. Yeah, we'll have a bit more of a wander around. Yeah. It's interesting. So we're going to have a look and see if this is a fire station down here. I think it possibly might be. Yeah, so here's, this is the uh, community fire station. Uh, it's right next to the police station, which is good. Uh, not going to hang around.
another Serco van. There's loads of Serco vans around in Exeter. Loads of them. So I think that is what they use for like prisoner transport by the looks of it. Uh, that's the uh, custody only it says on the gate there, you can't really see it from here. But yeah, so I reckon the uh, Serco vans must be contracted to do um, prisoner transfers, like to and from the prison, or to and from the courts maybe. Um, but that, that's, that's my guess. Let these cars roll out and I'll cross. Obviously, we all know uh, Circo are contracted to do quite a lot of work with the police and the prison services. Um, so yeah, they get quite a lot of contracts. But it's weird. Oh, yeah, you're right. Why? Because I'm a police officer. Have you got a warrant card? Yeah, you? I have got yeah, warrant Yeah, I'd love to see that, thank you. No problem. I'm PC Vanessa Thompson, I work here. Okay, 124. Lovely. So what's your number? 1503, was yeah. it? Yeah, oh, no, 15032. 32, lovely. I'm just wondering again. what you're doing. Just making a little video, really, around the area. Okay, and what, what's that to do with? Just obviously, because we've got security in mind as well. Yeah, sure, I'm just, uh, I'm just making a little video of the area and that, really. Okay. There's a uh, police station around here. Obviously, it's a new station you got down there. Yeah. What was that, what, three years ago, was it? Four, maybe? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so just letting people kind of know where the station is. Just put matters of public interest, really. Okay, yeah. okay, that's fine. Do you mind if yeah. I just take your name? Why, why would I want to give you that? Because in case there is anything else, I'm just interested. If you're just doing anything, there's nothing wrong. Then I just want to know who it is. Because obviously there's security as well. Right, okay. So security but... is heightened at the moment. So if there's nothing wrong, I just want to find out who your name is in case anything else were to come about. So what you're implying is that if I don't give my name, I'm doing something wrong. No, I'm just saying in case something retrospectively happened and someone said, oh, something happened. And I say, oh, I saw someone and I spoke to him, but I won't know what his name is. That's fine. I mean, I'm not, there's no, there's nothing to oblige me to give you my name at this no, point. There isn't. No, there is You're so, all right. So no, I'm not rather not thank you uh, okay. but at this point am i being entertained or anything no i was no. just speaking to you and finding out no problem at all that's fine for security yeah that's fine i to do that so yeah. you're just going to stay on the perimeter are you yeah uh, i don't know i'm just going to have a wander around well, see what's around inside but uh oh no i won't go inside any buildings yeah, obviously yeah yeah, yeah. Stay on the perimeter, but you can't go yeah. Well, I mean, if, if there are any restrictions, signs... There's restrictions from there, there's a security... I'm a police officer and I'm telling you, you cannot go with it inside there. This is a secure yeah, but a police you can't go inside there. But a police officer can tell me not to wear yellow shoelaces. But I'm not telling so. you not to wear shoelaces. I'm saying that this is a secure place. There is a security there. I'll well, walk with you if you like, it's if, fine. No, that's right. If, I mean, if, if it's secure, there's nothing to worry about, is there? Um, but I'm advising but, you as a police officer that you shouldn't be going in there, OK? But it, is it against the law? This is, you are not, you are not permitted to go into this building here. Is okay? it, is, I'm not, I'm not going to go into any buildings. I just said okay, that. into the area. Um, and, and why not? Again, is, is there any laws restricting me from doing that? Yes, it's security. You're not allowed what, in what, there unless you've got a warrant card. What, what law is that? 
there's restrictions on there that you are not allowed to go into that. If there's public access, then there it's a public... public access to well, well, that's, that's, well, that's fine. I won't, I won't go past any points that aren't publicly accessible. That's not a problem. But that's not a problem at all. Uh, so yeah, I mean we'll have a look at any signs, make sure that there isn't anything uh, that says that I can't. So look, cycle path, pedestrian footpath. That is literally signage right there, saying that this is a public footpath. Also, double yellow lines. Uh, Caution, pedestrians. So naturally that has uh, no entry through those gates, but obviously it's locked gates, so wouldn't be able to go through there even if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, so this is where um, somebody else got to previously. So that sign there clearly says, please have both ID and car pass ready for inspection. So as you can see, there's clearly gates because I should imagine it's probably restricted parking. Um, but there are literally no signs, unless I missed any on here, so I will double check. There's literally no signs saying, uh, you know, police only or restricted access. No, that's just CCTV signs. Um, so yeah, there's literally nothing, um, literally nothing there to stop anybody from accessing. Pardon? Well, I've already asked you nicely, you cannot go any further than this. To stop you. Keep, keep, keep coming, mate. Then if you want to assault me, we're going to be nicked for that, shall we? I haven't done, I haven't done anything. Use reasonable force, I'm licensed to, to stop you coming on these premises. What license have you got? SIA. Well, yeah, that should be, that should, government. Where's that displayed? You don't need to see that, pal. Uh, under, under the SIA laws, you, you should, you should be, you that should be on display. He's been reading Google, he's a Google lawyer, look. That should be on display at all times while in operation of your duties. You can actually lose your license for not having it on display. Uh, no, it needs to be on display. I clearly do. I've you that I'm a police officer and I've asked you that you're not allowed past here. It's a site you are not allowed past here. So please don't come on site. Where, where's the sign? Is, uh... I'm telling you as a police officer, you've seen my warrant card. Yeah. And I'm telling you as a police officer, you're not allowed to You could tell here. me as a police officer that... I'm not allowed to wear a black coat or a yellow hat or... But that's, that's not official, know. is it? I'm asking you not. Well, this isn't official. If, there was, if it was official, you, there would be signage. Okay, but I'm officially telling you, you are not allowed on Under what power are you using to officially tell me this? There, Please. This is the... You can see no. you are not allowed to. That is for cars. If this were restricted for pedestrian access, there would be a pedestrian gate. But there clearly isn't. <laughs> So what, what makes you want to do this all day on all night? Have you got four or something? Well, to be fair, there's marked police vehicles up there. I want to get some shots of marked police vehicles. No. They're public property. They may well be public property. This is public property. This area, is, you're not allowed on here. But there's no restricted access signs, none whatsoever. No. Right, so we're telling you, no. But your verbal commands don't take precedence when it's a public area. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. I, you've I literally do. You've been reading Google too much. <laughs> Google lawyer. We have about three of you a week to turn up here. Yeah? yeah That's probably because you keep acting, acting like idiots. Really? Yeah. You're insulting me now, are you? Yeah, the more you act like you're, idiots... You're insulting me by calling me an idiot. The more you act like idiots... Okay, now I'm going to say to you, I take it personally, I feel threatened and I'm going to have you nicked for public order. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Come on, what's your law? Come on, spoke Threatened? Straight. Go on, then. There's no, there's no, there's no acts or you threat of violence. Yeah. How do you know I'm an idiot? Do you know me? Do you know my family? Do I you said you're me? acting like... Mate, you've insulted me. Being offended is, isn't against the law. Google lawyers, mate. Mm-hmm. You're a Google lawyer. Cool. 
Well, again, again, you haven't got your SIA badge, so I'll report that to uh, the SIA. Do what do you want, my friend? Will do. Do it all day long. Not a problem. What's your name then? Why would I give you that? Well, why would I give you my name? You don't even know who I am. Because you're the one. Well, oh, you're you're, you're the. You're the one, well, I can just say the one working at the hut, at this headquarters, on this date and this time, they'll have record of who's working. They'll find it, it's not difficult. There's record of everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're right. Nothing better to do. You got a job? Yeah, I have actually. Well, yeah. So is this private property, is it? This is private, uh, my friend. Who owns it? None of your business. So is it, is it not owned by... Uh, all our registry, it'll tell you all about it. Please. Is it not owned by the police, by the Ministry of Justice, or...? You define it. Well, I mean, whether or not, if, whether or not, whether or not, it's, it's private. I don't know exactly who owns it, but it's private. Yeah. Whether or not you rent I'm it privately, oh, yeah, can you just keep you. a bit of a distance. I'm trying to be reasonable. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm just, and I'm just saying, if this is private and it's even rented by the government, which it obviously is, then that's publicly funded. Like those poli those police vehicles funded, are publicly funded. That public are allowed access here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter so, if it's publicly funded or not. If, if you have no information that says that this is private, this is restricted, then what's the authority that you're acting under? Yeah. I want to go have a look at the marked vehicles. You can't, mate. Why? Because it's a police site. It's private. Private? Who's that, who's that owned by? Do you know? Devon and Cornwall Constabulary. Okay, and who owns Devon and Cornwall Constabulary? Who owns Devon and Cornwall Constabulary? Who operates? Who runs? Who funds it? It's. it's that, what's that something you mean? What it's you publicly think? funded, isn't it? Right. And what do you think that means? That entitles your access. Is that to, what you're trying to, say? to areas that are not clearly restricted. Um, what's that? that? That's a barrier for cars. The pedestrian. The pedestrian access is not restricted at all. Have, you do not have access to private stuff. But again, where, where's the private signs? Where's the private property signs? I've walked all the way up, looked at every single sign, there's nothing. Don't Google lawyer, mate, plenty of them. Can we just be reasonable about this? You've got to here, you're not going to get any further than here. Is that your warrant, mate? Is that your warrant card, sir? Uh, 16738, uh, is that Constable Fowler? Yeah, uh, okay. I'm telling you, this site is a private police site and you do not have access to it. Do you have any evidence of that? I don't need any evidence, I'm police officer. Well, you, you can tell me it's illegal to wear this coat, but it doesn't mean that it's true. Just because you've shown me a card that I'm police officer, that coat is illegal. I'm not coming in. Okay, My what happens if I do? The moon, mate. Doesn't mean she's going to NASA and get a plane to get to me, Pardon? does it? I'll use reasonable force to prevent you coming in. Yeah, that's what I've told him. I've already told him I'll do that. I okay, want so you'll use reasonable force? Yes, yeah. to prevent you coming in. Okay. So what I suggest, mate, is so that's that's a threat right there. It's not so, a threat. Well, it is because you have. You, 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 you have asked me what happened. I've explained. Yeah, and you have no right. jurisdiction to use reasonable force under these conditions. I do have jurisdiction to police officer. I can use reasonable force to prevent you going there. It's a private flight, and there are various rules that allow me to prevent you going to that flight. We can Again, go along this line if you want, mate. If this were private, if this were private, where there would be signage saying Listen, private we don't property. We need to do this. We don't need to do this. Why don't you just make your way? We don't need to be doing this. Okay, it doesn't need to escalate to this. If you go on your way, then that will be fine. Tell you what, you're going to leave here before I do today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is it you're trying to achieve, mate? Like I said, I want to go get some shots of the marked vehicles, publicly owned vehicles on publicly owned land. I couldn't be more reasonable than I'm being with you now. I know, okay? and I'm not, I'm not arguing, you, I'm not threatening, I'm not raising my voice to you, I'm, I'm just, just explaining saying, my but point. But you are not coming on site. Okay. Okay, that, that cool. is not happening. Fine. I don't understand what you're trying to achieve. So we've got the... Uh, Apparently, SIA badge security. All those lacking his SIA badge. Yeah, it needs to be visible. It needs to be. Yeah, it needs to be on. It needs to be on. Uh, yeah, it needs, it needs to be. It needs to be visible at all times while on duty, doesn't it? Like police officers have to have. Well, obviously, unless they're non-uniform. But if they're in uniform, the epaulets need to be on their most outermost worn layer of clothing. With SIA operating officers, with don't work in public. At the end of the day, don't work in a public place. I mean, it is where I'm stood. Where I'm stood is a public place. But, um, but yeah, so if you don't want to be filmed, A, don't come to somebody with a camera. You obviously knew I was recording, that's why you've come. 
I finished working about 10 minutes. Do you want to meet off site and have a chat? No, I'm good, mate. Is that a threat? No, I'm just want to have a chat. chat, little chat. We're we'll having a chat now, aren't we? You want to do that? We're having a chat now, aren't we? Yeah. 10 minutes. I'm having a chat now, buddy. Sounds like a threat to me. It's not a threat at all, mate. Officer, Officer Fowler, are you hearing this? This, 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 uh, this security guard's using fighting words. He's saying he wants to meet me off site in 10 minutes when he finishes work. You want to come off and have a chat? We'll have a chat about it somewhere else. Which is clearly a threat, and that's, fight, that's considered fighting words under the law. Is that a threat? Yes. Okay, what exactly are considered fighting words under the law? What bit of legislation are you talking about here? I can't remember the act actually off the top of my head, but. Uh, so, which bit of fight, which bit of legislation has fighting words in it? You said the word fighting words in legislation. Yeah, yeah. So you're allowed to defend yourself if somebody's using fighting words in a way that makes you feel threatened. So he's, I feel threatened now. I can't remember the acting section, to be honest, off the top of my head. But you're quoting legislation, yeah, legislation, yeah. but you don't know legislation. No, I've not off the top of my head, no. Okay, so if you're going to quote legislation at us, okay. and then say, I need to be aware of that and be aware of those, those words. But you're a police but you, officer. But you don't know the legislation you're quoting. Yeah, but you're so a police how officer. Do you know it is? Okay, it's still a threat, which is uh, even a threat, a threat, even something that makes somebody feel like they're be, uh, being threatened or about to be attacked, actually, uh, you call me an idiot, sir. actually, actually, actually feel is actually a uh, common you assault. Me an idiot. You don't even know who I am. The first thing you said to me was I was an idiot. You said acting that like. Is threatening. But acting friend. like. Yeah, you really? Mm -hmm. Well, checkmate. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised you guys haven't got the memo on uh, public recordings around police stations, really. But what memo is that? <laughs> exactly, and that says it all, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. You feel free to explain to me. Well, there was a memo that was posted around to every police station in the UK by in 2021 the by the Commissioner of the Met, uh, uh, explaining how the police should deal and interact with people coming to film police uh, property, police headquarters, police uh, inquiry offices. Right. Said basically, leave them alone, there's nothing you can do. So, but you're saying you, you, that you think that then entitles you to go onto the site and film vehicles, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. You're a sergeant? You're an officer in charge? Yeah. I am, I am. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you then if you want. If you want to come away, I'll talk to you instead of these people. Um, but yeah. Uh, what's the caller number there, sorry? 7236. 7236. Lovely. And uh, Sergeant? Von Mimity. Sergeant, sorry. Von Mimity. Von Mimity. Nice to meet you. Thanks, mate. No worries. Go ahead. Yeah, I thought you did. That's all right. I'll speak to him. Yeah, quite happy. Yeah. Told you they'd leave before I do, guys. There goes PC Fowler. I can't remember what her name was, Vanessa something. Uh, uh, yeah, that's fine. No worries. Sorry, there. Oh, yeah, you're free. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. No worries. Um, yeah, there's not a lot really going on. It's just making a little video of the area once I get a shot of the marked cars um, had uh, PC Vanessa whatever her name is yeah. sort of there we go marked car but, um, but yeah so I was walking up around yeah. she stopped had a chat with me had a bit of a chat let her know just been filming matters of public interest yeah. um, she asked if I was just going to stay on the perimeter I said well I'm going to walk wherever's publicly accessible um, I've walked all the way up around here there's literally at the end of this road cycle path and pedestrian footpath sign right at the end of this road going up here Obviously, I see there's a gate there. I do see that. I'm not blind. Yeah. That gate is clearly for cars. It's a pedestrian way. It's not blocked. It's not obscured. There's no checkpoint for pedestrians okay. to go uh, past this the, point. The there are no signs saying... Apart from that one asking you to have an ID... And car, car pass. pass. Right. Yeah, but I'm not in a car, am I? So I don't no, know. You know. So, common sense mm -hmm. would say that you can see there's a barrier there. Public is not allowed through there. There is, there is a sign at the front. Um, and I appreciate you can film whatever you like around here. Uh -huh. Got no issue with that. If you go on site, you are going to be challenged. You're not a police officer. Okay. Um, you will be asked to leave. Okay. And if you refuse that, and you continue to do go about your business, then yeah, um, we'll be looking at whether or not those offences committed. What offences would potentially be potentially uh, aggravated trespass? What would be aggravating about it? Um, the fact that you're preventing my officers from going about their daily business. I'm not preventing. I've not stopped them. I've not interacted so like with them said, first. There is a barrier there. Mm -hmm. All right, you're saying it's for cars. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it is for cars. It's also going to stop you. Okay. All right. If you want, I'll ask the security guard to stand there, and that is your physical okay. barrier. So if I were walking up here without the camera and the PC Vanessa whatever hadn't uh -huh. stopped me, and I was just walking up and I just continued walking through, security would stop. You. Security would then stop me. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Because you're still going to have to you're still going to have to identify yourself as a police officer or police mm -hmm. staff to gain access to that. 
Do you not think that should be more clearly signposted than private property? You know, because that is very misleading. This is again all double yellow lined. Uh, yeah. This doesn't switch to red double yellow line, uh, double line. Sorry, okay. which is usually indicative of police property, okay. which is usually indicative That's of you, you can't pass here. Um, there should definitely be better signage because agree with you. anybody walking up here is going to get confused. Because if I didn't know any better, I was just a member of the public, not doing here what I'm doing here. And just walked on, and then this security guard who straight away came up to me said, I'm going to use reasonable walls, carry on, mate, carry on, mate. That, that, very aggressive. No, no, but there's a right way. You've approached me very, very politely. But that right. is his job. Yeah, but the way he's approached me, he's just asked me, he gets off in 10 minutes, do I want to meet him around the corner and, and have a little chat? That's what he's just said to me. Right, well, I'll discuss that with yeah, you. Yeah, you bloody well should. Um, he also, they're not wearing their SIA badges on their outermost. Obviously, you have to wear your epaulettes on your outermost. Their SIA badges have to be on display while if it were acting in their official duty. Yeah, I was wearing that so you came but, up, so you didn't know my identification. How? Well, even still, you should still be wearing it. Anyway. Anyway, how are we going to resolve it today, mate? Uh, I can't let you on the side. Okay, well, I will tell you, I will not go past that barrier. That's fair enough. I'm quite happy if you're but, out here filming. Yeah. As long as you're not interfering with the security staff. Okay. Um, let them go about their business, yeah. let the officers come in going about their business. Yeah, yeah. I've got no issue with... with I said, I've, I've not bothered anybody, not interacted with anybody. Are you happy to yeah. give me a name? <laughs> a first name? No. Sorry, mate. Nothing? No, I'm good. Okay. But... Fine. Oh, mate, no, no. you're in public, you can do, you can film whatever you want. Cool. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend because uh, somebody actually came here about a year ago that I saw doing this and there were no, there's no signage there. And the sergeant that came out and spoke to them said, yeah, we'll get some signage. But I've been again, I've come here a year later. That's, that's above my pay grade. Well, so it is being looked at and I know that they are looking at yeah, that. a year. I mean, come on. A year. I'll take but, it up again. And but, I, think, I think that's that's kind of the point that you guys are making. Isn't it? Yeah, we, we come to point out flaws in the system, um, you know, see where we can and where we can't access. Um, if we are about to access somewhere, how we're dealt with in first hand. Vanessa wasn't unreasonable with me. Um, you know, she stopped up there, yeah. said she'd walk around with me. Um, but that security guard, man, he's he's a loose cannon. Okay. He's a loose cannon. I'll like I reckon, when he gets off work, if he saw me walking around the corner, I don't think he would. Oh, you want to bet? Yeah. After he just said he wants to have a little chat with me in ten minutes, he may chat to you, but he's not. Going no, to no, no. We all, I'll speak to him. Yeah, like we don't know what a little chat means. Yeah, um, wouldn't be the first time I've been assaulted by somebody with an SIA badge. Our property starts there, but like you said, the barriers here. Yeah. I'm quite happy if you're out here, as long as you're not interfering with anything. Anybody Won't interfere done. with them. I said I didn't stop them doing what they're doing, they decided to come to me. Is that another sergeant? Officer is, in charge? Yeah. Nice. He was, he was coming out first. Fair enough. Oh, he's got a sidearm and everything. Oh, he's a big boy. He's got the sidearm. Hopefully I don't get shot. <laughs> no. no, you've been very reasonable actually, sergeant. You've, you have been brilliant. Um, so are you happy with that? Yeah, I won't, I won't, I won't transgress your barrier. Um, and that you're agreeing that that includes the sidewalk? Including the sidewalk, won't go past and it. Side. And the other side, Don't want <laughs> covering all bases. No, no, you're good, you're good, I won't go past all it. Right. I was gonna stand here and try and zoom yeah. in and get some of these uh, mark cards then, that's all I want. That's fine, mate. Yeah. Um, I would ask that um, private vehicles, um, can you try not to film those? I mean, my camera's not that good, I'm not gonna pick up anything from here. Anybody yeah. coming in and out, if it's on camera, it's on camera, they're in public. All right. Are but... you, can I ask you, were you at the prison earlier? Pardon? Were you at the prison earlier? What prison? Exeter prison. Where's that? In Exeter. Well, yeah, I figured that, but whereabouts? New North Road. Because they, they just said there was an order North for outside, Road. so it's just I don't know. It's just curiosity. Maybe. If, if it is you, uh, I've got no issue with it. Yeah, yeah maybe. Okay, mate. But, but yeah, now I was down there. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. Yeah. You're but they've actually, they've, uh, a prison, it's not, it's not a very good prison. Not, it's not. I'm not going to comment on that. No, but it's not. I mean, the, the, you can read the reports online by the inspectors that yeah. have been there and done that 2021 and 2008. It's both very, very poor. Very job. poor. No, I know it's not, but All that's right. why I went down there. Um, and obviously, watch the road. Don't yeah. step onto it. Uh, I, won't, I won't eat yellow snow either. I won't trip over my shoelaces. Don't worry. No, I just, I just want to go home, mate. Um, happy with that? Yeah, all good, Sergeant. Right. Have a good day, mate. But the sergeant's going to go have a chat with the security guard. Uh, yeah, how he approached me was very aggressive. He's a loose cannon. This is what I mean. This is the problem when you uh, outsource to private security with SIA badges. They don't have the same training. They don't have the same tolerance as police. Like, you can see why and how sergeants get to become sergeants because... For the most part, when you do these sorts of videos and you get these interactions, 
Um, you know, you do see that the sergeant will come out uh, and most of the time de-escalate situations. You do get the old sergeant that is a bit of a numpty. But, uh, but for, yeah, for the most part, sergeants are usually pretty good. They're good at de-escalating situations uh, rather than the other officers. Very abrasive, very aggressive. Uh, but yeah, I'll look up that on Fighting Words. Pretty sure there's legislation on it. Uh, and I'll link that in the video. Um, I like that police car. It looks like a, an old style police car that you used to get on like uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 and old racing games like that. Like, like a sort of interceptor sort of one. Which is pretty cool. Got a couple more up in the distance there. Uh, yeah, so that sergeant's uh, clearly having a word with that security guard. Uh, we've got a marked vehicle coming down. Yeah, straight away you can see the difference between uh, a sergeant's attitude, level of decorum, compared to the PCs. Uh, great de-escalation skills, really. Uh. Pardon? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, he's going to go home. Yeah, yeah. I've asked him to do a duty report about... The interaction with sure, you sure. and him, and yeah, yeah. obviously you've got your videos. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I can give you my YouTube channel if you want, because we'll be going up on there. Yeah, cool. So if you want to drop that down, um, then you can look at the video and you can actually see how he came and interacted with me from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, um, it's Power to the Proletariat. Uh, so that's what I said, you might want to write down if you've got that's no right, but yeah. I've got it. Yeah. But yeah, Power to, power to the Proletariat. Um, and yeah, like, this will be up in the next couple of days. I enjoy watching all this. Yeah, I, I, I do too, yeah. But... Yeah. Um, but yeah, the way he came in is yeah, dragged so his... he'll he'll do his his version of it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. He's going to send that, and then we'll look into that. Fantastic. And like I say, you've got your video of your side of things. Yeah, so yeah. That's going to be captured anyway. Awesome. Happy with that? Yeah, appreciate that. Obviously, Sergeant, you've been top notch. Came de-escalated the situation, and that's exactly what we look for. Like, so quite, right. and you can see why Sergeant's like you get to your rank because do you know what I'm quite happy know. with what with what you guys do, providing like I say, it doesn't interfere with yeah. any staff or yeah. Or and to be fair, you do get some people that would come up and go up to the, the guys in there and start talking to yeah. them and having a go and saying what about this what about that and I'm like I just can't up my own business people want to come and talk to me I'm not I mean, stopping them from doing their business I think you, you all know. know like whether it's you or any other auditor yeah. you know you're going to get challenged not you know always I mean I, I go plenty of places where I have absolutely no yeah. issues we whatsoever you. we're yeah. always going to come and speak to you um, and by challenge I mean like who are you what are you doing yeah, like yeah. you said you've explained it to me first off like yeah. straight off the bat so that's fine like, yeah. you told me who you are like, I've got no intention of doing anything other than yeah. finding out what you've yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, there was actually a memo posted around by the Commissioner of the Met, wasn't there, last year to all police stations in Cambridge. Not Pardon? <laughs> Not to us. You should uh, try and look that up, try and get, get hold of a copy and make sure your PCs have got a copy, because your PCs didn't have a clue what it was, but it was meant to be sent around to all police stations. So. We, yeah, we won't. Yeah, you, should, you chase that up, because uh, yeah, the guard here was saying that you get three of me here a week sort of thing. Yeah. And if they know how to deal with it and how to interact, yeah. um, but... Definitely, you need more signage and definitely a physical barrier here because this does look like publicly accessible. Well, yeah. There's no signage. Like obviously, again, again, that will be yeah. up to that will be up to people that get paid yeah. More than That's I obviously what's the commissioner or something or uh, this office just around the corner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's popping and say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Good <to> some <laughs> Oh, I did, but but that's actually got a sign at the front saying access by invitation only. Yeah. That's what I mean. So I don't go past that because it it's clearly signposted. It's yeah, but they're, they're, honestly, I've looked all the way up here. I did double back and check, and there's nothing, absolutely nothing. But have a good day, Sergeant. But, um, but yeah, so. But yeah, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes, wait for that uh, SIA badged person, allegedly, to make sure that he's off and gone. I'm not going to have any drama with him. Spot on, Sergeant. Um, 
So the sergeants just explained to the security guard that that barrier that they were leaving continuously open there. Um, the, that's no different than leaving the gates open, which is an implied right of access, um, which is spot on. So he's telling the security guard to make sure that that gate remains closed. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to push my luck and go past. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I've got the interaction that I really wanted. Um, you know, sergeant came, told the others to go away and dealt with it. Uh, so what's that you got operational health support unit over there exactly sergeant see sergeant guess he's saying the auditors are going to come back and come back because we're pressuring them to do something about it and that's exactly what we're doing Yeah. So this uh, sergeant's already made it clear that you know if I do pass, spot on, sergeant. Have a good day. See you later. Cheers. Yeah, sergeant was just explaining to him, you know, that we're going to keep pressuring because something does need to be done. It's not clear, and it needs to be. If it's meant to be a secure site, it needs to be secure. Um, but yeah, he said he trusts me. I've said that I'm not going to go past, which I won't. Um, so yeah, he's you know he's already made it clear that if I do, then Potentially, they might be looking at offences of aggravated trespass, which I don't think uh, would hold up, but it is quite late in the day and I just want to go home soon, so I don't really fancy getting arrested sitting in a cell. Um, I'm actually down visiting some family and that as well at the moment, so I just want to kind of get home and go see my family. But, so, yeah, I'll just be going, dealing with that, uh, seeing them. Don't really fancy spending the night in a cell, waiting for a solicitor. All of that drama, it's not worth the aggro. Uh, so yeah, we'll kind of get a shot of the uh, sergeant driving away. And then I think I'll probably be on my way. Uh, so the sergeant's going up that way, unfortunately. No indicator though. Oh, doing so well. But... One, two, three more marked vehicles up there, which I can't go get any shots of, unfortunately. Uh, that's, a, that's a shame, but it is what it is. Uh. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm going to head out now. And, uh... Exeter Police Headquarters back at Mivermore. Um, yeah, the PC can't break. Um, you know, that was clearly a threat saying that he wanted to meet me off site in 10 minutes and have a little chat. 
says you can find the flipping jet block apart from the sergeant. The sergeant did end up having a chat with him. And he's going to get him to do an instant report in a little minute. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't look like much has changed since the last time that Lord Craig did about a year ago. What a shame. Anyway, guys, as always, smash the subscribe button and, um, yeah, get notified when I put more content up for you. See you soon.